Sorry, I couldn't help myself. One of the great things about having grandchildren is that you can pretend that all of the Hot Wheels stuff you have in your house is for them. Hot Wheels is a widely distributed brand of scale model cars and racing kits introduced by American toy maker Mattel on May 18, 1968. Since 1968, over 4 billion Hot Wheels cars have been produced, along with countless miles of track and track sets. What this means is that on any given day, there are numerous cars and track sets for sale on the used market by parents whose children are no longer using them. With so much used inventory available, the possibilities are endless to what a well-researched prospective buyer can do with this wealth of other people's junk. Joking aside, let's back this story up a bit. There are a number of life lessons I intend to impart to my grandson with Hot Wheels while stimulating his creativity and instilling within him a sense of frugality. Besides, I'm not above giving our grandson a reason to want to visit his grandparents through bribery. First, let's talk about the used Hot Wheels junk I just purchased to get started. My first purchases of used Hot Wheels track were two uh, wall units, uh, $15 a piece. They're two different ones. They actually can clip together, but uh, I've not bothered to do that. Uh, so I spent $30 there, got a couple cars with it. And then I spent another $20 on a garbage bag full of what you see here. Now those loops I was able to attach to the bottom of the wall units. And they work quite nicely. The little green dinosaur isn't even uh, Hot Wheels, that's uh, metal machines. There was a metal machines unit in there. Uh, mostly complete uh, this dragon game, whatever it is. That's part of the Mega Hot Wheel City that uh, has a little uh, alligator that pops out and bites the cars. Uh, that's a car carrier with a loop on it which has a little manual launcher. And then a bunch of odds and ends that are um, from various types of games. Uh, some of them not even Hot Wheel, but the um, track builder box has a little bit of value uh, you see how the how the tops of these uh, can take track so you can actually uh, use this to elevate and you know pass through for track and uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it so I'm gonna put together what I've done so far and just give you a little demonstration my grandson is just coming up on the recommended age group of four to ten years old for Hot Wheels this first wall unit has become the favorite of the two it was originally hung at the highest point he could physically reach of 39 inches on sturdy three-ply cardboard so that it can easily be disposed of in the future. The loading ramp can hold up to six cars which are released by a triggering mechanism shown here. This track has three exit points that can be added to. My initial track customizations were very simple in nature with the initial goals being to keep everything contained against this back wall of the family room with future track assemblies made portable for use in the backyard during the summer. This first wall unit has an elastic band powered loop kicker for those cars that need a bit of help getting through this track. Well, the three different exits I mentioned earlier provide different options for extending this track. So for the time being, I'm bypassing the, those drop bridges. Uh, there's an exit that comes out 90 degrees from the track. I'm not using that at the moment. Uh, I'm using this exit here, which has a little flip up. And then there's also another attachment there and that's uh, with a manually activated gate to let cars out and you can attach it right here to this um, other wall unit. But I'm not going to do that because I like this little long run through the loop. Um, this is also the perfect height for my grandson to play with. Let me demonstrate the second wall unit. Mm -hmm. video. This is just a fantastic purchase I made. Uh, for $20 I ended up buying two boxes which contain mostly complete drag strip kits from 1969. This uh, twin lane uh, speedometer is actually has some value. Probably going to resell that. Uh, these are uh, trestle pieces. Uh, there was about 100 feet of track 
and then two lane turns and uh, loops and single lane turns uh, lap counter fair start gate and two pairs two pairs of jumps the plan at this point is to take all of the Hot Wheels junk I have accumulated and put together a rudimentary gravity powered dual lane portable drag strip. At this moment I have around $90 invested in the three used purchases I have made including a few new cars that were picked up at the local dollar store. I'm not planning to put any more money into this effort and if my grandson were to lose interest I will simply recoup my small expenditure from the used market. This philosophy of frugality is a lesson I learned from raising my own children. After spending thousands of dollars on childhood toys only to see those toys given away or sold for pennies on the dollar a few years later, I won't be doing that this time around. Besides, by making careful and inexpensive purchases of Hot Wheels junk, I have no qualms whatsoever of sawing off, drilling holes, or driving screws into any pieces I want to modify. So if you have an interest in seeing some of these projects take shape, this would be a good time to subscribe and click on the notification bell. In my next video, I'll be cobbling together my portable two-lane drag strip from these boxes of Hot Wheels junk, and I hope to see you then. Thank you for watching. When the stars won't shine for you, and your dreams turn black and blue, on those dark nights you'll be alright, I'll be right there with you. Together we'll see you through, when the stars won't shine for you, and your dreams turn black and blue, on those dark nights you'll be alright, I'll be right there with you. Together we'll see it through.